I've created a, a wrapper div for my image and I've given it three different background colors in order to demonstrate how I can make an image responsive to the size of the div or the size of the device. So basically I've got uh, this here and we can see from the code view that I've merely inserted an image into a wrap div. In the style sheet, we can see that I've set up a couple of um, different uh, responses to the different sizes. And if we look at this in the uh, browser window, we can see that in the browser window, it gets smaller and then the color changes again to a faded color. But in each case, you can see that the image is staying the same size. So I want to make the image fit into that wrapper no matter what size it goes to. So the way that I achieve this is I go to the style sheet and I'm going to type in a rule for it. And it's for a general rule for the image. And while I'm at it, I may just do a couple more also. Sorry, it goes image, comma, object embed so this will work for all these types of uh, content visual content that I want to put into this and the characteristic that I want to give it is I want it to go uh, max width Maximum width, I want it always to be 100% um, of whatever it goes into. Yeah? So that's the general rule that I've set up for it, not forgetting to put the closing brackets. And then on my image itself, at the moment, the image by default has come in with a width and height, so I'm going to get rid of that. And there's a couple of ways. I could delete it in code view, which is easier, or in the properties palette, I could just simply delete that. And we can see immediately it's jumped into line. And if I save the style sheet changes, and I'll save the change to the page, we can now see in the window how that works. So there's the larger size, and as I get smaller, you should see the background change. So there it's changed to a lighter color and still a lighter color. And you can see in each case, the image is resizing itself. And that's all there is. So in the style sheet, you're making a definition that explains about it filling the space, the div by 100%. And the other thing you do in the code view when is that you remove the width and height parameters.